Something happened this morning that has us all wondering what the heck it means. An Adam Stern tweet less than two weeks ago said that Michael Andretti was exploring the possibility of expanding into NASCAR. A tweet Wednesday morning has everybody wondering. There was a sponsorship deal announced between Gamebridge and Spire Motorsports. A very strange time for a sponsorship announcement in the middle of the summer. You have to go pretty deep into NASCAR sponsorship announcements to know it's an odd time. A major sponsor, and the biggest sponsor Andretti Autosport has in Gamebridge, signs a deal with a mid to low level NASCAR Cup Series team. And you're probably wondering, why does that matter? Why would Gamebridge sign a deal with Spire Motorsports? Why would Gamebridge, who has enough money to sponsor any NASCAR Cup Series team and driver that they would want, sign a deal with Spire Motorsports. Is it because Gamebridge CEO Dan Towers is a partial owner in Andretti Autosport and as Andretti looks to expand into NASCAR, he needs to take his financial backers with him? A lot of people in the industry right now are wondering what is going on between Spire Motorsports and Andretti Autosport. <laughs> Shout out to Windhorse for the dramatic example that I was able to, I don't know, portray right there. Either way, there is something happening between Spire Motorsports and Andretti Autosport. First, the announcement kicked off on Wednesday morning that Marco Andretti will be driving the Spire Motorsports number no. 7 Chevy Silverado this weekend in the Truck Series race at Mid-Ohio with Group 1001 as the sponsor. It's a branch off of, of Gamebridge. And then it was announced that Gamebridge had entered into a multi-year sponsorship deal with Spire Motorsports to sponsor both the 77 and the number no. 7 car of Corey LaJoy. It's very odd timing to announce a major multi-year partnership with a sponsor that has the money that Gamebridge does. They sponsor Colton Herta's car, obviously we know that in the uh, IndyCar series. They sponsor the Indianapolis 500. They sponsor the field house that the Indianapolis Pacers play in in Indiana. The question now is, are they sponsoring Spire because they want to get into NASCAR? And they already are in NASCAR sponsoring Nick Sanchez in the truck series. Or is this a play that leads to the Adam Stern tweet from a few weeks ago that said, Michael Andretti's exploring getting into NASCAR. Michael Andretti's wanted to get in NASCAR for the last 15 years. He almost revived that dead Dodge program when Penske left him, didn't happen. And then he kind of kicks the tires every now and then. But he now has the financial backing of not only Gamebridge, but he also has Guggenheim partners behind him as well, who have $300 billion in assets under management. It's a lot of money, just in case you weren't able to keep track of that at home. So the question now is, is Michael Andretti looking to buy into Spire Motorsports? Obviously, we know Spire, who initially started off as a team that was just acquiring charters in the hopes of reselling them, and they made a lot of money doing that. And then they started off as basically a sponsorship team. Drivers would bring sponsorship to them, and they would try to work in drivers they had under management into those cars. They've now decided to hire two drivers, Corey LaJoy and Ty Dillon, to run both of their cars on a full-time basis and you've seen pretty decent results out of Corey LaJoy this year. He's flirted with a playoff spot. He's going to have to point his way in and have a heck of a summer to get that to happen. Ty Dillon has been struggling, uh, of course. The question right now is, Andretti, as he looks to get into NASCAR, is Spire a team that is a meddling midfield team, lower, to, lower midfield team, if we're being completely honest, are they looking to take on investors? Are they looking to get out of the sport? Or are they looking to potentially... Uh, allow that Andretti name to come onto the team and help carry them to some hopeful new heights. It's a lot of questions, and I think where there's smoke, there's fire, right? Marco Andretti made a Xfinity Series start last year for Big Machine in that number 48 car in the Xfinity Series. He's now making a Truck Series start for the Spire team. If this Gamebridge announcement with Spire as a sponsorship deal didn't come out right after, I would say there's not much going on here. But when you have Marco running the Spire truck with a Gamebridge shoot-off on the hood, and then you have a long-term partnership with Gamebridge on the cup side for Spire. You start to kind of connect the dots here. And you think maybe, just maybe, Spire Motorsports and Andretti Autosport are going to get in bed together. And I'm here for it. Not for Michael Andretti and the Spire guys to literally get into bed together. I'm here for the partnership that would be Andretti Spire or just Andretti buying them out with the money that he has from either Gamebridge or Guggenheim. Obviously, I think a lot of it depends on what the future of the charter system holds. Obviously, you're not going to go buy a charter now as negotiations are going on because if they just decide to get rid of charters, you're out 20-ish million dollars, probably a little bit more than that for two charters. 
Not ideal, not the best business move. Mike Andretti has not surrounded himself with a bunch of money guys to just throw money away unless you count a Formula One entrance fee as throwing money away, which some people might. Either way, I think there's something going on here, and I think it's pretty obvious, right? As soon as that Spire, or as soon as the Gamebridge deal got announced this morning for Spire, a lot of people all connected the dots at the same time, and they were like, there's, there's something going on here, and I'm here for it, but I'm interested to see how it goes, knowing that they are deep in negotiations right now over the next Meteorites deal. So, we're going to find out sooner rather than later, more than likely. Michael Andretti wants to... Michael Jordan wants to be in everything. He's the Rick Ware of motorsports at this point. He wants to be in every single series. He's in series that people don't even watch, like Formula E and Extreme E. But at the same time, it would be great to see him come into NASCAR because obviously that Andretti name does carry some weight. It's a good thing to have them around, and I think we'll eventually get them into the series. Shout out to Nate. He decided to make an appearance. Would you like to say hello, sir? Hello. Best $400 I've ever spent. I guess we're just in this together now. <laughs> Alright, follow me on follow me on TikTok at Breakhard. Like and subscribe to the channel. And follow me on uh, Twitter, Instagram, and now threads as well at Breakhard Blog. We're gonna go outside.